Hi! Welcome to my channel! At kung bago ka lang dito, ay huwag kalimutang mag-subscribe at pindutin lang ang notification bell para lagi kayong updated sa aking mga bagong mat tutorial videos. Today, ang pag-aaralan naman natin ay solving quadratic equation by completing the square. Pero bago yan, sagutan muna natin ang warm-up number 1 at warm-up number 2. Ito kasi yung kailangan natin mamaya para hindi tayo mahirapan sa pag-solve ng completing the square. So, simulan natin class sa warm-up number 1. Tell whether the quadratic below are PST, perfect square trinomial, or NPST, not perfect square trinomial. Paano nga ba natin malalaman na yung given na quadratic expression ay perfect square trinomial or not perfect square trinomial? So, ganito lang ang gagawin natin. Kukunin mo lang yung 1 half ng numerical coefficient ng ating linear term. Or simply divide by 2. So, 6 divided by 2 is equal to 3. Then, raise mo sa second power. So, 3 raised to the second power is equal to 9. So, kung yun ay equal dun sa ating constant term, ibig sabihin ito ay perfect square trinomial. Subukan naman natin sa letter B. 10 divided by 2 is equal to 5. Then 5 raised to the second power is equal to 25. So 16 is not equal to 25. Therefore, yung ating letter B is not perfect square trinomial. Next, letter C. 4 divided by 2 is equal to 2. 2 raised to the second power is equal to 4. So 4 is equal to 4. So letter C is perfect square trinomial. Next, letter D. 5 divided by 2 is equal to 5 over 2 raised to the second power is 25 over 4. So, not perfect square trinomial. Okay, next, letter E. 8 divided by 2 is equal to 4. 4 raised to the second power is equal to 16. So, letter E, not perfect square trinomial. Then, letter F. 15 divided by 2 is equal to 15 over 2 raised to the second power is 225 over 4. So, not equal to 50. So, letter F is not perfect square trinomial. Okay, so move tayo sa warm up number 2. Find the third term below to make them a perfect square trinomial. Then express the following perfect square trinomial into square of binomial. So katulad nung ginawa natin kanina, kukunin lang natin yung 1 half nung linear term or i-divide natin by 2. So 4 divided by 2 is equal to 2. Then raised to the second power is equal to 4. Para makuha naman natin yung square of binomial, kukunin lang natin yung square root ng quadratic term, then yung operation sign ng linear term, at yung square root ng ating constant term. So, bali magiging x or the quantity of x plus 2 raised to the second power. So, yung x nang galing class dun sa square root ng quadratic term. Yung ating operation na plus nang galing naman dun sa operation sign ng ating linear term. At yung 2 nang galing doon sa square root ng 4. Then raise lang natin to the second power. Okay, next letter B. X squared minus 10X plus blank. So 10 divided by 2 is equal to 5. Then raise to the second power is 25. So, yung square of binomial, so the, the quantity of x minus 5 raised to the second power. Next, letter C, 20 divided by 2 is equal to 10. Then, 10 raised to the second power is 100. Then, square of binomial, uh, the quantity of x minus 10 raised to the second power. Then, letter D, x squared plus 6x plus blank. So, 6 divided by 2 is equal to 3. Then, 3 raised to the second power is equal to 9. Then, square of binomial, the quantity of x 
plus 3 raised to the second power. Okay, kung naintindihan na yung warm-up number 1 at warm-up number 2 natin, pwede na tayong mag-proceed sa pag-solve ng quadratic equation using completing the square. Okay, so observe the process in solving quadratic equation below. So given x squared plus 4x minus 21 is equal to 0. So first step, kailangan yung constant term natin ay mailipat natin sa right side ng equation using addition property of equality. So add 21 to both sides of the equation. So, x squared plus 4x minus 21. So, dito natin ilalagay class. So, left side and right side yung uh, plus 21. Then, simplify. x squared plus 4x is equal to 21. So, after that, add to both sides of the equation the square of 1 half of 4. So, x squared plus 4x plus 4 is equal to 21 plus 4. Ito yung ginawa natin kanina doon sa ating warm-up number 2. Kinuha natin yung 1 half ng numerical coefficient ng ating linear term or dinivide by 2. So 4 divided by 2 is equal to 2. Then raised to the second power is equal to 4. Para magawa natin siyang perfect square trinomial. But don't forget, Kung ano yung inad natin dito sa left side, kailangan idagdag din natin dun sa right side ng equation. Then, simplify. So, magiging x squared plus 4x plus 4 is equal to 25. Okay, next step. Express x squared plus 4x plus 4 is equal to 25 as a square of binomial. So, magiging quantity of x plus 2 raised to the second power is equal to 25. Then, solve the quantity of x plus 2 raised to the second power is equal to 25 by extracting the square root. So, magiging x plus 2 is equal to the square root of 25. So, kung nalilito kung paano nakuha yung x plus 2 is equal to the square root of 25, Kukunin lang natin class yung square roots ng both sides ng equation. Ayan. Tapos, makakancel lang yung radical sign at yung ating second power. Kaya naging x plus 2 na lang. Tapos, equal to square root of 25. And then, simplify natin magiging x plus 2 is equal to plus or minus 5. Then, solve per x using subtraction property of equality. So, subtract both sides by 2. So, x is equal to 3. And x is equal to negative 7. So, yung 3 nakuha class sa 5 minus 2. So, 5 minus 2 is equal to 3. Then, yung negative 7 naman nakuha doon sa negative 5 minus 2. So, negative 5 minus 2 is negative 7. Okay, so next, kung gusto nyo makasigurado kung tama yung nakuha yung roots, pwede nating i-check. So, sa checking natin, so, check the solutions obtained against the original equation, x squared plus 4x minus 21 is equal to 0. So, substitute the value of x by 3 and negative 7. So, the equation x squared plus 4x minus 21 is equal to 0 is true when x is equal to 3 or when x is negative 7.